Hi everybody, good morning, good morning. So I know um, I was thinking about whether or not I was gonna jump on to do a live video this morning. And part of me didn't really want to because I looked like this. <laughs> I stayed up so late last night and my eyes were super puffy. I was on a business call. Um, but on that call last night, something really kind of sparked my attention. We were all talking about um, how to get into flow, how to step into the flow of abundance and receiving what you want in your life. And it had me thinking really about what I do every Friday um, and how valuable it is to my own practice of receiving. And I never actually realized how important it was, I think, until last night's call. Hey, so I wanted to share it with all of you guys. So welcome to um, my morning meditation room. I thought I would take some time to share this with all of you today. Later on in the afternoon, I'll be jumping on live to do some free personal development training for some coaches out there. Um, but today, I wanted to share with you guys what I do every single Friday to step into the flow of receiving more, grounding into my happiness, feeling more abundant, um, and all of the things that I do, these are things that all of us can do, right? They're really easy. This is not rocket science. Um, and they all take place in this room right here that I'm about to show you. This is my, my meditation zen zone, okay? So I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a tour. So keep, keep up with me. This photo over here behind me, it's so funny. It says, I love you, right? And it has, it's a map of New York City. It's where my fiance and I met. Um, it was a lovely gift from him, so I just want to honor that. It's really cute. Okay, so let me give you a little tour of what I do every Friday. This is so exciting. Okay, so this is my this is my meditation room. This is my safe space. This is where I come every single day to ground myself into receiving more. And what I love about this room is that it's you know it's spacious and it's open and it's also most importantly a true deep reflection of me. So, here are my beautiful plants. I love them. This one's actually a pineapple, which is so cool. It's a pineapple, like how crazy is this? So I've been taking care of these bad boys. They're so cute. I love them. And then I have this over here, which is my, this is really the space for all of my personal development and growth. So when you're building your room, first of all, guys, what I'm going to show you on how to do, it's really important you remember your room should always be a reflection of you. So I have some things here that really speak to me, like my salt lamps. This is um, one of my favorite crystals. I absolutely love it. It's the angelic crystal, Sistine. Um, and this is my money tree. Look how pretty she is. Right? And then I have a lot of these books. These are books I always recommend to you guys. So I keep it up here. Everyone should read this. Everyone should read this. For sure and then I have a bunch of the other work that I've been doing and studying over the years and I actually took all of the books for my coaching and my training and I put them on a separate shelf from what you'll see over here which is these are all of my other books okay and so these my voice is like my lacunas that's hysterical <laughs> I love that. so I made it a point to really honor my own growth so that's really the first step of this, guys. You want to, wherever space you're going to create this in, you have to create a space where you're honoring your own growth. So I have, you know, all of my other books are separate and they're all on that shelf over there. All of my other reading. The title of the book that I think everyone should read, this is The Seven Spiritual Laws of Success by Deepak Chopra. That's what everyone, this is, I mean, you should read a bunch of these. I could recommend a million, but that one is really key okay so um anyway honor your growth honor your growth so important the space that you create and up here i have these beautiful pieces of artwork which you can see um just so feminine and so gorgeous so for me this room was really my feminine energy space okay and obviously this is the book that changed my life so I keep it up here. I have two or three copies, but I keep this one up here just to speak to me and remind me that that is really um, where I started my whole journey. And then I have this other corner over here, which is really my meditation space. And this is the space where I come to ground myself and really get focused before I start the day, before I do anything. I come in here and I sit in this corner and I fill my heart with gratitude as much as possible. We're going to talk about that in a minute. So there are some tools that I always recommend if you guys have been on whatisperfection.com. 
Um, you will notice that I always recommend crystals, oils. This is a huge part of the practice. Um, and I also use, do a lot of sage work and a lot of oracle card reading, which really helps. So we will dive into all of that this morning. And then up here, because I do not bring technology into the space. So even if you're doing this and it's a corner of your house, do not bring technology into the space, minus this video recording, of course. <laughs> and then up here I have um, what is probably one of the most difficult books I've read, The Power of Now. It's, I'm reading it slowly, so I keep it up here on this shelf. And this is a beautiful set of coasters that I keep up here from India that Matt had. And this is my um, universal journal. So I have a lot of journals, but I keep one specifically to speak to the universe. I highly recommend you guys do that. Honor it, put it in a safe space. It's very, very special. So this is my rose quartz. So beautiful. And then I have things like mala beads in here, right? Which I use on occasion. I like to hold them here in this space because it just creates a really nice energy. And then I also have um, my little tray of work. So now that I've given you a little tour, this is what I do. Look at my doggy. She's so cute. Oh, A New Earth. Yeah, I have that too. I have that book as well. I think it's on the shelf actually. A New Earth is somewhere on here. Um, okay, so here's what happens. Every single Friday, now I did this yesterday because today's a little bit of a busy schedule. Every single Friday, I get new flowers for my room. I saw this from an amazing coach, Cara, and I started this practice. Every Friday, you get yourself some flowers, and you sit down, and you make a list of everything that you're grateful for. So that's the first thing that I do every single week. Thank you. I love my space. It means so much to me. So I get these flowers and I journal what I'm grateful for, what it means to me, what I accomplished that week, and I celebrate it, okay? That's the first step. And then the second step is I brew a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, and I light this candle. Now this is from, I got these from Target. They're really simple and easy. And this is peace and tranquility. So I light this candle to represent that I'm starting my practice. So you always wanna have an anchor to acknowledge that you're about to start your spiritual practice. So I sit down and I write my gratitude list. And what's beautiful about this is that if you're grateful, you will receive more. We have to honor what we've been receiving in order to receive more of it. So I do that and I sit down with my journal. Now this is the one I've been using. You guys know me, I have a ton of journals and I actually did this bullet journaling exercise that I just wanna show you. Bullet journaling, what up? <laughs> different goals, so I have things for my career, and I have things for my health, and I have things to study and do personal growth, and so I've mapped this all out, but this is another, we'll do this on another post. But anyway, once I light my candle, I start making my list here in my book, and I sit in my space, and I really shut down all technology, all thought, and I focus on really becoming the version of myself that I long to be. So after I make my list, I'll journal things like, what do I need to do more of to be happy? Look how cute she is. Hi, Zozo. So I'll journal things. I'll switch this so you can see my face here, guys. So I journal things like, what do I need to do to receive? What do I need to do to receive more? What do I need to do to be happier in my life? What am I missing on my journey? What do I need to uh, change or practice or focus on for growth. And these are all things that I journal every single day in my notebook. So to honor this practice, excuse me, animal, and my other dog over here, I'm gonna like a candle for us so we can honor this. Honor this moment, right? Okay. Easy. You're honoring your space. So you do that. Now, after I'm done journaling, I do a series of other really important, valuable exercises. You guys all know I work with Oracle cards. This is really a big, beautiful part, and I'm gonna pull one for you today. So, I want you guys to tell me, goddess or gateway, which one do you want me to pull from today? Goddess or gateway? Post in the comments so I know. Come on. You guys have other options too if you don't want goddess or gateway i could do a different one but i would really love to know 
Goddess, yeah. Okay, Christina, we'll do goddess. So I'm going to pull, maybe I should pull one of each. Goddess, gateway, gateway. Always goddess. Okay, so here's what I do. You guys notice, um, let me just show you over here. So I've pulled cards. I pull cards every single day and I leave them here. So after you pull your cards, and there's a whole cleaning process, but after you pull your cards, you wanna put them somewhere with a crystal on top to kind of honor that decision. Sometimes I pull two, sometimes I pull three, sometimes I pull one. And this was my card, which you guys saw on my Instagram the other day. This is um, the one that I pulled yesterday, which was just so beautiful. And I've been keeping Damar there for guiding children. So let's do a reading, guys. Let's do a card reading. So, you want to make sure of a couple of things when you do oracle card readings. These are Doreen Virtue cards, and these are Denise Lynn cards. So, Denise is really good. I think it's Denise. Yeah. Denise Lynn, beautiful deck. Doreen Virtue, beautiful deck. They all come with these booklets, and the booklets are really key to um, understanding what each of your cards mean. So, when you do a card reading... It's really important to cleanse your cards. So there's a whole practice. We won't go into it. But these are the beautiful, look how gorgeous they are. Gorgeous card readings. And this is Kali. This is the card that I pull almost every single week. She's my goddess. She follows me everywhere. So you're going to shuffle your cards. Okay, so for those who wanted a goddess card reading, here we go. Here we go. I always do this after my journaling, guys. You want to journal first before you do a card reading to open yourself up to receiving, clear some of the negative energy, and really just make space for what you want. All right. So, here's our card. Ostara. This is the card for people who picked the goddess card. So, this means, I love this card because it freaks me out. It's actually the fertility card. Okay? So, if you're out there and... Um, you're not wanting to get pregnant, don't freak out because this is not what that really means. But this is the perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas, and give birth to new conditions. So this is all about change and welcoming the new and growth within yourself and growth within projects. So if you're out there trying to start a project or you're out there trying to go after a big picture or making a big change, this is the time to do it. So listen to your inner goddess and go follow that, okay? So now, let's talk about, yeah, Patsy Kali was always my card. It's crazy. I love that it was yours too. It means we're like soul sisters. She followed me every, the first time I got this deck. Kali followed me every single place. It was crazy. Uh, hey, Rachel, perfect timing. So, yes, for everybody who pulled a goddess card, fertility, go start your project. Go create what you want. Go make it happen, Okay. I'm going to keep her out on my deck today for all of you. So now let's do Gateway. Who picked Gateway? Oh, I love it. The perfect timing for you. So if you guys picked the Gateway deck, these, these cards are equally as pretty. Like, really pretty. I love the blues, of course. Like, so me. Okay. He started giving me the deck. Okay. So we're going to shuffle our deck, as always. I actually shuffle them like cards. Some people don't. Um, you could shuffle them like, you know, stacking. And you could always pull more than one. So there's like a one card pull, there's a two card, three card. So I, today I'm just doing one, one card pull. So this is it. For everyone who want a gateway, trust your intuition. This is the powerful message of the day. Trust your intuition. My life is truly guided. So it's kind of what we're talking about today. I love that. I love that card. So I'm going to keep those for us on my deck, on my little table over there in the corner. And so here's what I do. I pull these cards after I'm done journaling, after I set my intentions. I pull my cards and I move over here. And so I put them here. And I put this on top. And I'll light this little candle and I just put it right there just to honor, okay? You know, sometimes, you know, depending on what I want to do, you know, 
Sometimes I won't light the candle. Sometimes I'll just leave them there. But either way, I'm setting that intention. Sometimes I don't like my intuition. Whoa. So. Well, your intuition, when it's strong, it's guiding you. That's really important. I think it's a big part of the process. Okay, so once that's done, then I spend about half an hour working on personal development and growth. So, and this is, guys, this is simple stuff. You don't have to spend all day doing this. It's really easy. So right now, this is what I'm reading. And I take some notes because I'm studying, right? I'm a student of practice. So I'll spend some time reading. And I actually, it's funny, we were talking about this yesterday. I use cards for bookmarks, these affirmation cards. I'll talk about that on another call. But yeah, so I spend some time reading. And then when I'm ready, I move over here to my meditation space. And I sit here on this chair and I look at the clock first. And I see, usually it's always like at the top of the hour that I'm spending time doing this. Sorry, my camera's a little messy here. But usually it's at the top of the hour and I'll sit here in the space and I'll close my eyes and I'll hold a crystal. So like right now I've been working a lot with rose quartz. And then um, this is apophyllite, if you guys have not seen it. It's gorgeous. Can we just look at this? Look how pretty that is. It's gorgeous. So I'll, I'll hold my crystal to ground me into what I'm trying to do. And I also work with oils. So when I'm meditating, when I'm reading throughout this whole entire process, I'm using an oil. So this is all about activating your senses, right guys? So this is, where's my, it's a little blurry. How do I get that to unblur? There we go. So this is Serenity. This is the oil I've been working with lately. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. It smells phenomenal. And so I'll put that oil on my temples or like on my hands over here and on my, my neck. And I'll spend some time really breathing in that scent. And each of these oils have a spiritual association. There's a powerful energy with that sense of smell, just breathing it in. So that's how I start my day. Every single day, that is what I do. Fridays are a little bit more extensive. I disconnect from social media. I ground myself into receiving. And I spend that time trying to open up my heart to receive more. So take that time for yourself. This is really the theme of what I'm trying to get at here. Is take the time for yourself. Spend more time focusing on you. Put your hand behind something. Oh, okay. So let's try this. Let's see if this works. Yeah. So this is the oil I've been using. And it's amazing. So if you have questions about oil work, you can always message me. Um, I am an oil crazy lady. I use them all the time. I don't use any pharmaceuticals. I've gotten off all of my antidepressants, anxiety, medication. I swear I no longer need it because I'm using essential oil. And I needed it for a very long time. I needed it for like six, seven years. I was taking like four pills a day. So it, essential oils can heal your life, open you up to so much in your life. So anyway, that's that. Take some time for yourself. Spend some time grounding into what you want to receive. Don't be afraid to look inward. That is the practice that's going to open you up to receive so much more in your life. But you got to take the time to do it. All right, guys? So I'm going to do that myself. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Reach out to me if you have any questions. Always here for you. Love you guys. Talk to you soon.